<laughs> the man himself. How are you, man? So I spent a bit of time making this timeline of notable things that have happened over history and I want to take you through some of it. Okay, so in 3500 BC we saw the invention of the wheel, which was a big deal because it allowed for the transportation of, of large goods. Then shortly later in 1600 BC we had the invention of the modern day alphabet. Massive deal for communication as we now know it. Then you can see for a while here nothing really happened. Then on the 3rd of May this year we met the tyrannical commie kid. Now I've actually met him on Omega three times but you've only seen one encounter and that was the first one that took place on the 3rd of May. I have a way with ladies you see. I am what they call a pimp. Ah. You seem to like the 13 year old authoritarian, so this week I'm sharing these other two interactions that I've had with our little comrade. Dude, do you know what's funny? I was literally, I was editing a video with you in it, like, maybe like two days ago. In it? No, not just with me, I need my own video, because you know why? I'm such, I'm so fabulous. <laughs> I'm a fan of the hat. I'm a fan of the... Yeah, the hat. I, th I, I feel wearing the hat. It's so uncomfortable. It's from when I was three years old, but I thought, you know, get some nice clothes on. I have a similar one. That is, that is beautiful. Yeah. It's amazing. This is what it's the, about. Got this bit. I'm in two minds, because the, the video is the video's almost finished being edited, but I'm in two minds of, I think I need to blur your face out. Why? My concern is that you might regret this in like two oh, years. I Oh, I won't regret this in two years. Believe me, I like looking back on old times. I mean, maybe not when I was six. But let me tell you a story when I was six. I tied a rope around my waist, tied a rope around the stairs, jumped off, thought it was bungee jumping, ended up in the hospital. You have my execute authority to not blame my face on my face. It's so fabulous. <laughs> Dear, blur it out. I'm gonna go ape shit. Do you understand me? What, are you gonna, you gonna do some communistic shit on me? Yeah, yeah, I, I, will, I will rock up to Melbourne with an AK-47. Are you taking your earrings off getting ready to fight? You look like you're... Yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm i fully in, like, I'm getting ready to go to bed now. Ah, so, what's your pre-bed routine? Pre-bed routine? Yeah. Do uni work. Uh, then start listening to Harry Styles' latest album, all of the 1975. Okay. Cry lie on my bed and have an existential crisis right and then fall asleep so you you like how long does the existential crisis last because if you know that you got to factor it into like a time you got to get your eight hours i mean the existential crisis really never ends but like i'm in it for like a good hour and a half or so you know hour and a half okay you can ask me anything did you read animal farm Animal farm. Yeah, that's what I suggested that you read last time we spoke. Oh, fuck me. I haven't got round time. I haven't got round time. I'm only halfway through the Communist Manifesto, okay? You need to give me some time. Oh, shit. I can't use that language. Oh, shit, that's ungodly. I will, I, I will come down to Melbourne. I will come down to Australia. Tie a, tie a Bible to a bit of a is your is your mum home now? I think so, but I think she's sleeping. And when she and when she's awoken, fuck me, she's I don't. Fuck. So I can't I can't say hi to your mum. I'll try. Hold on. Okay. Nice, nice shirt, man. I love it. Okay, so you wake up at seven. You're gonna I'm, eight hours. You get eight hours sleep. You go to bed at like eleven ish usually. You're gonna have an existential mm -hmm. crisis starting. You're not gonna you're not gonna go to sleep straight after your existential crisis, or maybe you are because you'll be mm -hmm. exhausted. So, mm -hmm. okay, so it's probably fair to say that you need to be having that crisis by around nine fifteen. So then you're probably starting to listen to Harry Styles. What at like eight thirty? 
You're on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there, uh, do anything else in your pre-bed routine? Um, I have a dog, so usually he takes up a lot of that time. Are you one of those Aussies that have dinner at like 4 p.m.? No, I have dinner at like 7, like in a while. Okay, so you have dinner at 7, yeah. you're done by 7.30. Then you play with your dog for an hour, and then you gotta get ready for bed. If I could make one suggestion, if you were to somehow able to get your existential crisis over in about an hour, you would have more playtime in the evening. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Anyways, goodbye, and one more thing, shut the fuck up and eat a brownie. <laughs> Listen, listen, I hear I hear your I hear you <laughs> Alright, chill out. <laughs> How's the, the quest for equality going? Not good. I've got my friend Micah here. He said, Micah, are you a communist? <laughs> he says yes, but he also says some Fuck you, Micah. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, has he has he also read the Communist man Manifesto? Have you read the Communist Manifesto, Michael? He says no. You democratic fuck piece of shit. <laughs> what am I doing to you? Yes. If you're gonna shoot me out of a cannon, you kind of wanna get some good aerodynamics. It's good, good aerodynamics there. I don't, I don't mind that. What's interesting about like the way you're wearing it is you're still managing to keep it fashionable. Like you got the little, the yeah, little tuft got, of hair got there. Bit of hair. Yeah. That's how I wear all my hats. So I gotta, you know, fuck, keep, like, keep my little. I wanna, I wanna look as cool. All right, just, I gotta. <laughs> that, is, that is beautiful. That, that is that is looking good. That, that is, is looking sharp. Yeah, I tell you what. What's up, ladies? I'm single. Let's... <laughs> I'm about to move into an apartment. I know the question will come into my mind. Perhaps some like plants or flowers or something like that. You but they'll have they'll be fake for sure because I'll forget yeah. to water them. <laughs> it's like if I had a if I had a baby, I'd forget to feed it. Like I. Oh. Wouldn't we all? Like, I don't know how people do it. Mum! Oh. Yeah. Come here. Can I say hi to your mum? Yeah, Mum! <laughs> come here, do you want to come say hi? It's my, it's my mate. How old is you? Uh, 28, I think. 26. <laughs> what did she say? It's not a p***. He says, she says you're a p***. So she doesn't want to say hello? No. Mum, come on, come say hello. She says no. Liv, are you are you drinking by any chance? I am. What are you drinking? Oh, UDLs. Look at yeah. you. Are you are you a country bumpkin? Oh yeah, sure. Where are you from? I was originally from Echuca, but I've moved to Ballarat to do uni. Wow. Okay, so you really are. You're pretty hardcore country. Oh yeah. Do you have anything to do a shot with? Or I do. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a drink? I mean, sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm drinking straight out of the bottle because why not? I mean, you, you, you do you, boo. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. nipple. <laughs> I love it. Cheers, Liv. Cheers. Why are you taking a drink after? You know, I, I um, cause I'm a pussy. Look, that's that's why. <laughs> Great. Thanks for the drink. No worries, it was good. I feel ridiculous. I can't wait to broadcast this to thousands of people. It doesn't even fucking look like you. <laughs> I, look, I look like a thumb. It's like someone's just like edited a thumb. Why are you lurking outside my door? I'm taking it off. Yeah. He's not a stranger. Okay, take it off. I have to go. Okay, I understand. You gotta listen to mum. Best of luck with the uh all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you understand why I have to blow your your face out. Yeah, do you want me to wear a mask to make it easier? <laughs> you know what? It would make it easier, but it's okay. No, you don't have to, it's fine. I can I can I can do that in the edit. That's that's totally fine. <laughs> Nose review. <laughs> <laughs>
Mas se você 